CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this two-part video, we're first going to show how to set up auto-tracking in a PTZ's web interface, and then in the second half of the video, we're going to show how not to use auto-tracking or some tips on how to actually successfully set up auto-tracking with different AI rules. Now, it's important to note that AI is not the same as auto-tracking, but auto-tracking does use AI rules. So the first step is to enter in the IP address for our PTZ camera. You can also forward into the web interface of your PTZ camera if you have it connected to an NVR. In this instance, though, we have it over our local network, and we're just going to access the camera directly using its IP address. This camera's IP address was 192.168.1.65. Then you're going to type in the password. And this is a defaulted PTZ, so its password is admin admin. It asked me to change its password, and I just canceled out of that menu. Here is my view of the PTZ. I first need to go to the Setup tab. In the Setup tab, I need to go to PTZ Settings. In the Function tab of the PTZ Settings, you need to set a preset. So you need to adjust the camera where you want to set up the view, which is your preset. And then you're going to click the Add button, and then Save the Preset. You should also get a message on the PTZ camera screen that says preset saved or preset success. And I'm just adjusting my preset view here to get it to the entryway of the parking lot here. So I'm going to get it zoomed in and then I'm going to go ahead and save the preset one more time. And you can see it says operate succeeded and you may see a message on the video saying it succeeded. The next step is to add a smart plan to that preset. So I need to go to the smart plan tab under the event subsection and then click add plan and choose my preset one and then make sure the IVS icon is orange. So I went ahead and added a smart plan and I'm going to save it to my preset one. It says save succeeded. So now I have a preset set and I also have enabled the smart plan option for that preset. Now I need to go to the IVS tab. And here I can see my preset one at the top. And then I can click plus to add a rule. Now here's all of the rules that this particular camera can choose. I can either choose intrusion detection or tripwire to do auto tracking. And then I'm just going to choose the direction of enter and exit and appear and cross as I want any vehicle that's leaving or entering to trigger my rule. As the annotation suggests, auto track is the alarm track option. Make sure that is checked. So I went ahead and added that intrusion detection rule. Now we can go back into the PTZ settings, into the function menu, and then set an idle time. Now idle time means that it will go back to whatever area it was when that rule is no longer being detected. And then I need to go back into the IVS event page and draw my intrusion detection rule. So I went ahead and drew my intrusion detection rule and here comes a truck through the rule and it's going to trigger that rule and then the camera will begin auto tracking it until the truck is out of view. Now keep in mind this can only track humans and slow moving vehicles such as this one coming into a parking lot. It will not be able to auto track fast moving vehicles on a highway. In this video I'm going to show you how not to set up auto tracking PTZs. In other words, what presets or views you should not use. So when there are obstructions in view, it makes it very difficult for the camera to trigger the rule or to auto track the object. In our first example, it is actually a target moving too fast. In this case, it's a blue car that moves too fast in front of the camera. So the AI rule never has a chance to trigger. Therefore, the tracking camera never gets to track the vehicle. And in our second example, we have a UPS driver walking up a driveway, but this is actually due to the target being outside of the physical PTZ limits, meaning that the camera is not mounted high enough to pan up high enough to successfully track the target as he moves towards the neighbor's house. And the PTZ actually stops and looks at these bushes because it doesn't know where its target went. So in our third example, it actually relates to the same UPS driver walking down the driveway. 
in which case that the angle is too wide and there are obstructions in view, so the camera begins to track the UPS driver and it actually stops because it sees the bushes in front. The fourth example is another fast moving target. It's the UPS driver again in his truck moving too quickly. And then the camera actually sees the cactus, which is an obstruction, and focuses on that. The fifth example is going to be this dog who is behind a fence. So the camera sees the dog break the rule, but then because the dog is behind the fence and is so small, the PTZ thinks it needs to look down to try and track the target, but instead it just ends up looking down at the ground. So you need to make sure that your targets are not behind fences or are not too small to be tracked. The sixth example, there is a large obstruction. As this man breaks the rule, the camera begins to track him, but then it sees the cactus there and thinks that that is its target, so it stops tracking the man. The seventh example has to do with a vehicle passing by, so it does detect the vehicle, but then it gets stuck on trees. So again, it's due to an obstruction in the view. The camera focuses on the tree branches instead of the vehicle. And then in our eighth example, we have a good start to auto tracking. It actually picks up that the vehicle is moving. Again, the vehicle is moving slow enough for the AI rule to be broken. And then it begins tracking it. It actually tracks it through that obstruction of the trees and then tracks it fairly successfully until it does get into some bramble here or into some heavy foliage to where that camera can no longer see the car in question. So hopefully this video gives you a good idea of what not to have in your preset view, namely the obstructions, and then it's also and very important to not have your camera pointed at an area where objects or targets will be moving too quickly for the AI rule to detect them. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.